hope everybody's doing really well today. I have been super busy and decluttering my coloring book collection as well as supplies due to the, my upcoming and very discussed move. So I wanted to show off some of the coloring books that I'll be passing on as a heads up. No, I don't just throw these out. There is a donation spot um, in the town where I live where you can drop them off and somebody else will pick them up. I've dropped off almost all of my decluttered coloring books there and they're honestly always gone within like five to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna talk through everything. None of the books that I'm gonna be decluttering are awful. These are just books that I don't see myself picking up as much. And if you're new to my channel, I'm moving cross-continentally, right? So I'm moving from Germany to the US. I can't justify like towing my entire coloring book collection with me. I'm already bringing a lot of them with me. So I'm really, really trying to narrow it down. But before we jump into the coloring books, I wanted to show off two like supply items that I'm gonna be passing on. So this was just a tease. <laughs> but the first thing I'm gonna be passing on are my Crayola Super Tips washable markers. So I have still kind of a bunch left in here, but you can see by the box, like these are very well used and very well loved. So they're like either dead and I've thrown them out or they're almost dead. So there's absolutely no purpose for me to bring these to the US knowing that they're on their last uh, dying leg. So I'm gonna pass these on and I hope some child really enjoys coloring with them because these are amazing. So I'm gonna end up purchasing these in the US again. You know, they're very easily available. I could stop by any drugstore or even get them on Amazon and just have them shipped to the house. So these are gonna go bye-bye, but for the price, I've gotten definitely my use out of these. I've had them for, gosh, like two years maybe. So these are great. This is the 100 pack. We'll be purchasing again, but these are gonna go to another home. And then another set of markers I'm gonna be getting rid of are my alcohol markers. So the circular ones, like these ones, are Ohuhu's. And I think they're wonderful. So I really like the Ohuhu's and I was using them up and I was going through the pack. So I was like, hey, like, I would like to purchase another set of alcohol markers. And Ohuhu's are not crazy expensive, right? But they're also not very cheap. So I try to be a budget savvy Susie over here and purchase like a knockoff brand, I don't know what these are called, Touch 5, um, whoops, as I'm throwing them around. So price-wise, these were definitely better. They are also dual-sided, which I really enjoy. However, these yellow, like there is no tomorrow. It's not all the colors, but it's most of the colors that yellow. And frankly, I would not recommend them. I would not purchase them again. Whenever I go through anything that I'm decluttering, I always ask myself the question, like knowing what you know now about their quality and uses and everything, would you purchase them again? If the answer is no, the item has got to go. So when I ask myself that question about these, the answer is absolutely not because I'm tired of them yellowing anything that they touch. So for me, no, 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 no. <laughs> for a child, yes, you know, or if you don't care about yellowing. So I'm gonna pass these on. I'm also gonna pass on the few rogue ohuhus I have left in here, um, just because they're most, most of the ones that I have left, which is not that many, are also kind of running really low on the juice. So I'm just gonna get myself a nice new set of Ohuhu's once I move. So I will not be purchasing these, these bad boys, but the Ohuhu's, yes, I will be purchasing them again and I want a really big set of them because I really, really like those. So those are the two sets of markers that I'm gonna be passing on. So the first book um, I am actually throwing out <laughs> and you might be like, hey, why are you going back on your words? You said you wouldn't throw anything out and that is because I have completed it. It is 50 Stylish Mandalas by Camelia Angelkova 
and I've done every single mandala in here. Look at that yellowing. So that is from those markers. So I really like this book. I would actually like to repurchase it in the future and do all these mandalas all over again because I really, really enjoyed it. I did do a full flip of the completed pages if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I've done the, this, this book belongs to, again, the yellowing. I've done like this page as well. So this book is 100% done. There's not a single mandala left to color. And when I say that I am decluttering because I don't want to move with too many coloring books, I am sure as hell, excuse my French, not moving with a completed coloring book. There's no way. I can't justify it. She's going in the recycle bin. I mean, I have a whole video of me flipping through it. So if I ever want to look back at what I did and what kind of color palettes I used, there's a recording of it. You know, it is what it is. And I've honestly always done that. Um, I've always passed on or recycled my completed books even before this move. Um, so the rest of the books I am donating. So the next one is also a Camellia Angel Kova book and it's the 101 mandala, sorry, 101 unique mandalas. So I really like Camellia Angel Kova. Nothing against her. She's always like a coloring book artist that I keep an eye on to see what she's releasing. Really like her stuff. This book, however, was my first ever mandala book. I wanted a really thick book with many different mandalas because I didn't know what kind of mandalas I liked. Now, I have a more clear direction on what kind of art style I'm into, what I enjoy and what I don't so much. So with this book, I've done all of the pictures that I am interested in basically. So, which is less than half. So most of this book is still blank. There are of course some colored ones. This was like a five minute challenge, three minute challenge. Yeah, she's not a looker. Um, so I've done everything in this book that I'm interested in. Um, it's been kicking around, like look at that yellowing. Isn't that insane? Ugh. So I feel like I've gotten what I wanted out of this book. And because it's so thick, you know, 101 pages, it's heavy. So with moving, I would rather bring like two or three other books as compared to this one. So I'm gonna pass it on. I hope somebody that enjoys mandalas will be able to pick it up and work in it as well because I enjoy my time, but I feel like I've gotten what I wanted out of this book and it's time to move on. <laughs> Uh, the next book was kind of a difficult one for me to unhaul because I love Winnie the Pooh, but again, I just can't justify it because I don't color in it enough. So this was a book I picked up at the grocery store here, like at the checkout aisle. They always get me with it. And it's all Winnie the Pooh pages. Shocker. It is single-sided. And again, I'm so sad to get rid of it. Oh, this is a maybe. No, I should get rid of it. Anyways, so I've done a couple pictures in here. I've actually taken them out already because I just did, I liked the finished product. But I feel like, I don't know. I just don't reach for this book enough and I have so many other coloring books. But this is amazing. I hope some child or some fellow Winnie the Pooh loving adult can pick it up and color in it. Again, most of the pages are blank. Um, well, I took out the colored ones, but this one's, the, I'm really on the fence about this one because I just love Winnie the Pooh, but I think I just need to donate it before I change my mind, basically. Um, the next one is a Thomas Kincaid book by Posh, uh, Painter of Light, and this book is stunning. Uh, like anything by Thomas Kincaid, it's amazing, so it has this, like, beautiful artwork on one side, um, then a line art version on the right side. So I've had this for two and a half years, two years, something like that, and have literally never colored in it. It's overwhelming to me, because um, this is so beautiful. There's no way I will ever be able to, you know, copy it. Um, I mean, I don't have to, right? But also, the line work is a little wonky because it was obviously done digitally. Like, you see there's like a shading in the water. Here, they like put like a blob in the water. 
So I considered keeping this book just for this side so I can maybe like cut some of these images out because I think like this is so adorable and beautiful. But, you know, I think if I wasn't moving, I would keep it and maybe try to integrate this into like a journal or even frame it and put it on the wall or something. But I can't justify moving with it. Oh, this is so adorable. So, yeah, I hope somebody loves this book because it's it's stunning. It's beautiful. But I just couldn't get myself to color in it. And it has some heft to it. So with weight, restric weight restrictions uh, for flying, it's just, she's got to go to a new home. Um, the next book I purchased while I guess I was assuming that I am of the age of four. So <laughs> it's a tree shaped coloring book for Christmas. And I don't know what I was thinking. Um, I was just overwhelmed by how cute it was, which definitely sounds like stereotypical me, but I have never colored in it. I mean, that is really cute. I keep on saying like, yeah, yeah, I'll get to it. This is one of my favorite pages. <laughs> I keep on being like, yes, I'll get to it. I'll color in it. But realistically, uh, that's not true. Um, there's just like Christmas is obviously a short time of the year, right? Like Christmas itself and then the build up to Christmas. And I already have a couple other coloring books for the holidays that I would prefer to work in. Therefore, I'm not reaching for this. So I hope some child enjoys this because this was definitely aimed at children. Uh, but I was just really excited by a Christmas tree shaped book. So 100% uncolored. What a good use of my money. Amazing. Love a good investment. Um, then, I can't believe I'm doing this one, but I'm getting rid of a George Tufexis book. And before anybody starts a riot, yes, I'm a huge George Tufexis fan. And this was actually the first color by number book I ever purchased. But I haven't reached for it in absolute ages. I don't really love like street scenes which is ironic that I purchased this book considering that it's called City Sights. So this one's on me. Um, I've done a couple of pictures in here, but I just, I'm not reaching for it. And I have so many other George Tufexis books that I love that I would rather spend my time coloring in those than this one. And considering the fact that I've done like three images in here, maybe four, I guess we can count. Maybe it's more than that, but it's not a lot as you can see. Okay, let's see, so one, uh, two, three, four, okay, five, six, seven, eight and a half. So considering the fact that I've had this book for over two years and I've done eight and a half pages, it gotta go. So I'm gonna hold on to all of my other George Tufexis books. I've actually already shipped some of them to the US, but this one is going to a new loving home. Um, another book that I was kind of on the fence about getting rid of is my Mystery Mosaic Color by Number Colorful Life by, it was listed, Sunny Publishing. And the reason I was, and still am on the fence about getting rid of this one is that there's nothing wrong with it. Like whenever I color in it, I enjoy it. So I've done a handful of images in here. However, when I ask myself the question that I was talking about, like knowing what you know, would you purchase it again? The answer is no. And that again, nothing's wrong with this book. I enjoy it, but I don't love it. Um, my coloring time, or just like hobby related time has been so limited lately because of working, you know, trying to finish this thesis, goodness gracious, um, you know, the move and just life. <laughs> My coloring time is so, so limited and I am not reaching for this book because there's other things that I would prefer to spend my time on and therefore I'm just going to pass it on because it is a solid good book. None of the books that I'm getting rid of today I think are awful. 
they were just not something that I'm reaching for and therefore I can't justify moving with it. So my plan for the move is to move with two suitcases. I moved here with two suitcases three years ago, so I hope to go back home with the same number of suitcases. Therefore, I really need to limit down my clothing, shoes, coloring books, reading books, absolutely everything, because I've been here for over three years, right? I've collected things. So it's, it's really, really decluttering time in my life, in this household, and these have got to go. Uh, but that is it for coloring books for now. I think I'm going to do a round two. Um, and if I do, I'll definitely post a video about it. But thank you so much for watching. And I do apologize for being quite uh, MIA last couple of weeks. Again, it's just been, it's been a hectic time here. But thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.